How's everyone doing this beautiful day? Today we're going to be looking at some uh, defrost modules in this lovely rack. Don't mind all that wiring. So, 5A is giving us trouble today, reaching for frozen food. Just to show you real quick, this little marking right here is to tell you the time of day. So right now, 9 a.m. This top tab right here is going to tell you when the system is going to go into defrost. So 2300 military time, 11 p.m. It's when it's going to go into defrost. And for the duration, you have to look in the bottom. That little marking right there. For this one, 53 minutes, it's going to show you the defrost duration. So through this little window, it's the motor spinning inside of it. The whole module motor. That little gear right here. That's what spins all, every single module. They're all connected. So just to show you, 5A, 5B. 5A is stuck in defrost. You can see the contact is being pulled in when it's not calling for it. 5B is doing what it should be doing. Not being in defrost in the middle of the day. So 5B, going to put it into defrost. Contact are pulled in. Now let's take it out of defrost. Good job, 5B. Look at that guy go. He's out of defrost. Now as for 5A, not so much. It's in defrost. Not calling for it. So, that bad boy, 5A. So, we're going to push it in like if it's in defrost. So, you can see that you can hear the tab go in. It was already pulled in. So, now I'm going to put the bottom one to take it out of defrost. And it's still being pulled in. Well. Now we're going to have to replace that whole module. Bad. This whole 5A module is going to have to be replaced right here. Quick note, right here is where it gets 208 for the module motor. Goes in the top. It has its own breaker for 208, stri just strictly for the motor. Here's the part number we're going to be installing, the defrost module, Apple 877. Here you can see the wiring, common, normally open, usually the heaters, normally closed for refrigeration, solenoid, whatever you got tied into it. You see on top. This bottom tab, it's a duration, it's the one that pulls it out of defrost, into defrost. Out of defrost. In. Out. So the new part's in. As you can see, 5 Apple now has a lovely new module. And now the contactor's pulled out. Look at that defrost heater. It's not pulling in, is it? So we're going to test it now. We're going to put it into defrost, which we knew it would do before. Now, for the tricky part is, that little lever at the bottom gives you a little bit of light. You can see that's the one we're going to push in to knock it out of defrost. Take it out, so it's a little bit of a tight fit. And look at that. Nice. 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 That works. So just to show you how these things come out, you have to grab 
the last one and the first one. At the very back of it, you pull out. So right here, you can see a little spring. First one back here as well. So at the same time, you pull this one and this one, and the entire module comes out so you can put in the new one. So I hope this video helped you have a little bit better understanding of these gang timers. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions. And uh, thank you for watching again.